a better way to cancel things when you're crafting, just in case you need to run away from something, or something a faster way, just click on the thing. Um, in other words, you can click esque, but you know, I, I feel like this is a bit useful, more useful because normally you are in your inventory. When you're hunting for animals, you can just hold down the right click and um, you can uh, see like footprints or like um, blood that the animal might have hit, uh, dropped if you hit it already before. And uh, you can kind of see the general direction that it's gone in. Uh, if you just follow the tracks, you'll eventually find the animal because you'll just slow down after a while. Another thing is you can click F to examine what it is and you can see what animal it is in the chat. This one's kind of an exploit uh, and don't ban me but uh, you can take things in your hand up ladders. You know, Normally you do drop them when you try and go up them and you're sacrificing them but if you want to go up ladders and you want to keep that in uh, you can just uh, go into your inventory and hold item over your ha hands. Uh, eventually it will disappear if you go further and up with the ladder. Uh, but when you get all the whip you could just put it in your hands and it will just put them in your hands. Please fix. Something that people look to disregard are scissors, but uh, they're actually very useful. Uh, you can see in the video that I'm going to use a stone knife to uh, cut my t-shirt into rags. And you can see I only get uh, like two ranks. Um, if you use scissors you get way more. Uh, if you didn't know, rags can be used to heal yourself when you're injured and uh, lots of other stuff like backpacks and things. Something I didn't know for a while was how to get energy. Now pretty much all you want to do is go kill a zombie, uh, go to it, chop it up and get its meat and cook it through a skewer. Now a lot of times you can't reach containers that are far away uh, when you're in third person. Now all you need to do is like switch over to first person and you might be able to reach it. Uh, like you can see in the video. In first person I can reach the containers and when I go to third I just can't. Uh, this is especially useful if you're in a place where there's loads of robots and you don't want to go around a corner and peek to when you're opening things. Uh, something a lot of people don't know are the crafting. I'm just going to go over that. Uh, when everything's great and there's stripes it means you have zero items to craft that um, thing. Uh, once red and has stripes, uh, it means you have some items but not uh, too much. Um, when it's uh, orange color with stripes, it means you have like half uh, or three quarters of uh, the items needed to craft it. Uh, when it's fully grey with no stripes, I uh, can't really show an example of that, uh, but that means you can actually craft it so you can click on them. I think they need to change that because it kind of looks like you can't craft it and sometimes you get a bit confused, but that's the way the world works man. Uh, something I didn't really utilize until just now is uh, quick access. Uh, you probably should. Um, it's really useful if you want to have a pistol in your backpack and uh, quickly take it out sometimes. Uh, you just have to drag the IM over to your quick access and then you can just use it uh, by pressing the button that you put it in. Something that a lot of people like to do is uh, go to the airport straight away as soon as it's spawned in and try and get the best loot uh, really quick. Uh, something that you can do instead of doing that, um, which isn't actually that risky, is going to military bunkers and uh, police stations or towns. I'll leave a link in the description to a website that just shows everything around the map so you can visit them.